In Penang, Malaysia, many Chinese will head over to Tian Kong Temple on the ninth day of the first lunar month to pray towards the Jade Emperor. This year, due to the pandemic, mass gatherings are not allowed, so people can only pray for their homes. Follow a report as we learn more. Located at the hillside of Penang Hill, Tian Kong Temple is a famous historical heritage. It was built before 1869 and was a small temple in the beginning. After a few restorations, it has become an old temple which offers prayers to the Jade Emperor. The temple has a signature ancient Fujian structure, which looks very spectacular, yet it's also simple and solemn. In the front hall and the back hall, there are Buddhist statues and also Taoism statues respectively. It truly shows how the local Chinese have incorporated Taoism and Buddhism in their lives and practiced these beliefs together. We have a lot of foreign believers coming here to pray. They come from Singapore and Indonesia. There are many believers from Indonesia and they're mostly young people. They're also the most sincere believers. On the eighth day of the first lunar month, we open at seven in the morning and there will be a lot of people coming to pray. In the evening, there will be even more people, especially after 10 o'clock at night. The people will continue coming until the next day. We'll open for more than 24 hours. On the ninth day of the first lunar month, it is an auspicious day for Hokkien people as they pray towards the Jade Emperor. On this day, people will prepare a variety of offerings such as fresh flowers, tea, fruits, desserts, and most importantly, sugar canes to pray towards the Jade Emperor. It was believed that during the Ming Dynasty, Japanese pirates attacked the villagers along the coastlines of Fujian province, killing people and snatching items. The villagers had to run and they successfully hid in the sugarcane fields just before the pirates had the chance to catch them. And that day was the ninth day of the first lunar month. The villagers who escaped that day believed that it was the Jade Emperor who saved them during that day. Ever since then, the people have been celebrating this day as a sign of gratitude towards the Jade Emperor. As the pandemic is still ongoing, the Malaysian government has implemented the Movement Control Order 2.0 to try and suppress the spreading of the virus. As for the sight of many devoted believers heading to Tian Kong Temple to pray, it will definitely not be seen this year. We follow the government's SOP and limit the number of people in the temple within 30. Every 30 minutes, we'll carry out our disinfection of the surroundings, and those who enter must wear a mask and have their body temperatures checked. They will also need to scan the QR code to record their movement history. We have people coming to pray from various countries. So this year, due to the lockdown, they are unable to head over to pray. For some familiar devotees, they'll call us and tell us they want to donate and light up the lamp. So we'll give them our QR code to carry out our transaction. We all hope for the pandemic to end soon. This year, due to the pandemic, many people have chosen to pray to the Jade Emperor from their homes. Although the atmosphere is not as festive as before, but if we all have a sincere and pious heart, it is believed that the days ahead will be peaceful and full of blessings. <laughs>